Hello, family. Don't get mad. I took the weekend off and I got busy yesterday doing absolutely nothing. And so consequently, I completely forgot to put my No Makeup Monday video on. So in a sense of solidarity, I'm on No Makeup Tuesday. However, I'm going to have a little heart to heart here. I, um, I had gotten all dressed up over the weekend. I kind of thought, you know, this whole t-shirt sweatpants thing isn't really cutting it with me. So I put on my makeup, I did my hair, I got ready for church, I did things around the house, and I got so much accomplished, I felt like a human being again. And I had planned to put a big video out to you this week about doing that, of which that video actually is coming tomorrow. And I hope this video doesn't last too long and I figure out how to make it go longer and stuff. I'm not real good at that. Anyway, so um, I'm sure we all have, you know, we're doing all these things and we're going along great and then all of a sudden we hit the wall. Well, I'm no different. And uh, fortunately, I don't have children to homeschool. I probably would slip my wrist if I had to do that right now. So my heart goes out to all of you parents out there who have been thrust into a role that you never thought you would be thrust into. Kind of just go back and think Little House on the Prairie for a minute. And uh, that's kind of what we're going through. But um uh, if you've been following me on Instagram, I, I really encourage you to go to Sandy Patty's page and listen to her part one and part two um, little commentary that she's been putting out there. And she's got a part three coming. Um, if you can't pull it up on my site, because I think I had it on my story. I know I had part one in my regular feed. I really encourage you to listen to her. She has really spoken to me. Um, she and I are very close in age and... Um, she was very much a part of my high school and college years and my whole life as far as in gospel music is concerned. So I really connect with her. I had the privilege of meeting Sandy a few years ago. Oh, it's almost five years ago now. I even have her number. I mean, I haven't got the courage to text her or anything, but I, I really love her dearly. And I um, really have been blessed healed, nurtured, cared for, whatever word you want to have by listening to her because she's got a lot of strong points, especially for us women uh, and everybody. But she speaks in part two about some things that I think really hit home to a lot of people. Um, I'm sorry, I'm rambling, but you all seem to like that. I don't know why you like it when I ramble, but I am rambling. Um, but... I just want to share with you guys that this is a, this is a haul and I will do my best to bring you joy and comfort and and fun and stuff. I had a very creative weekend. I will be sharing with you probably tomorrow and the next day. I had a crafting binge. I'm getting ready to go on a larger crafting binge. I'm ordering some supplies online that I was short of. I made two wreaths over the weekend and I did some chalking and I just really, it just, it was so healthy for me. And I'm being pulled everywhere by people saying I need to do this, that, and the other with my career and acting. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm doing what's making me happy. And speaking to that, that's what the video tomorrow is going to talk about as far as putting yourself together, doing something that makes you happy happy because right now it's so I mean, praise the Lord I've got the Lord in my life and I have the joy in my heart and I have Jesus in my heart and he brings all makes me everything small but with all the outside world is just so gloom and doom that we need to find that thing in our house and our lives that is joy whether it's clothing, whether it's our children, whether it's our husband, although we all probably over our husbands and our children right now. But what I'm saying is, you know, if you got more than one room in your house, send them to the other room. Say, I need my minute. I got to get happy. Then I'll come back and talk to you. Just say, I got to go to my happy place. If that happy place is in the toilet, then you go to your happy place in the toilet. If that's where you get your sanctuary, just pretend you got a stomach virus and go in there for a while. You know what I'm saying. I love you guys. Sorry to been away uh, for the past couple of days, but I'll try to be more diligent. And also coming this week may be an Easter tour of my uh, home. Not the whole house because part of it clean, part of it not. 
You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, I had some Easter stuff all set out on my dining room table that I wouldn't mind sharing with you guys and um, showing you just a couple of other things since nobody else is really going to be able to come and see it. My dinner party just went. Uh, so I'll be giving you happy joy tomorrow. Okay. Hope you had happy joy today.